Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the official podcast of the SBC, The Shivercast. I'm your co-host, Canadian Moose. I'm the evil redneck. I'm Swagger. I'm Percival. You yes. salute Percy. I... Okay. We're, 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 getting, <laughs> we're getting better at that, all right? It didn't take us five minutes to get through the intro this time. Stellar Yeller. Because well, Redneck was here. I was thrown off true. last night. That's true. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, today we have a very special guest on the show. So today's guest is a hip hop and boomer DJ from the great state of Alaska, a man who loves games as much as he loves dropping sick beats. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from space, Astro RC. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Hell yes, man. I, I already love, <laughs> no no one's going to have a problem identifying who's who in the call because Astro thankfully wore stuff uh, where we can identify him. <laughs> 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 just my oh, daily yeah. wardrobe man <laughs> yeah it's, it's the plug he's like shit i'm on the podcast tonight <laughs> gotta make sure to get the merch going you okay there redneck? your redneck uh redneck's go up you. on him yeah technical difficulties hang on hey, uh, there we hey. go yeah so it's, a, it's a high production <laughs> value we got we got multiple Dude, camera angles jumping around. <laughs> it only is this go podcast I <laughs> yeah. um but uh but yeah asher thank you for coming on man we, we really appreciate you coming on and we uh we hope you have fun out here yeah man i'm glad to be here bro thanks for having me it's gonna be a great time uh, I, I think uh one thing i do want to start off with before it's not even on our list of questions here um but just thank you better right now uh the uh the wall of ufc belts can we uh can we talk <laughs> about that it's a it's quite the eye uh, catch uh, yeah it's the, the, a wall of wrestling belts actually oh okay um yeah, it's just a childhood show that I used to watch a lot back in the day. And it was a dream of me to, to earn one of those belts someday. And I grew up, saved some money, and I was able to get a hold of them. And I, I, just, I just couldn't stop with one, and I just kept going. <laughs> just kept on beating people up. He, he, just for, he just forever has belts. So how many do you have? In total? <laughs> Uh, there's six of them on my wall now. Okay, and then so do people constantly come to you to challenge you for those belts? Like, do they like knock on your door and be like, "Hey," and then you're just like, "Fuck, okay." <laughs> um, so actually, two of the belts, the the blue and the red one, we actually use those for beer pong here at the house oh. when we have a get together. Uh, so we do like a team beer pong and uh, like a little tag team, and um, we usually, at least back you know before the pandemic happened, we usually, um would let them hold those until the next time we have a get together and uh they'll they'll have to you know compete with another group so yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so so basically when sbc does the uh the beer pong tournament you're not allowed to compete because uh <laughs> I guess I guess you're nationally ranked. Yeah. <laughs> Hardly seems fair. Or just be on my team. Sorry, Sean, but uh, we're, we're putting Asher on the team. <laughs> we're sending Sean to the minors. We're gonna trade him. <laughs> Damn. Go. No, no, Sean's gonna trade you out for him, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my God. You what, a, yourself. what a reversal. So Moose mentioned this earlier already but you, you're a dj right so what got uh, yeah, you yeah. into djing uh oh whoo so i've i've uh originally i'm i'm a percussionist or slash a drummer um Person but too. yeah so i had i had i had a you know high school band that went that went on after high school but obviously nothing lasts forever uh, so the band broke up, and I never actually touched my drums ever since, for many years, and ended up selling them. And uh, I started getting into EDM type of music, and uh, I was like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." And so I started being curious about how it all works. I started YouTubing how DJing works, and uh, I was like, "I want to try it out." So I bought a small controller, and it kind of expanded from there. So you learned it all just off YouTube. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty so much just like, YouTube yeah. and learning by myself. That's, that's the next textbook, so man. <laughs> like, it, that, I, changed, uh, I learned how to change a window in a car just watching YouTube. <laughs> is it, isn't that crazy? I mean, like, and, and Shadow learned yeah. how to like mod Game Boys from YouTube, right? Like, yeah, I learned how to yell yeah, at my yeah. friends and blame them for all my mistakes. That's well, I don't think we there was much learning. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, hey, I, you, I mean, shout out YouTube, everyone. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> thanks for thanks, boys. thanks for being there for the homies. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like our setup now, you know, like. I, I learned everything from YouTube of how to set up streams, so... That's true, too, right? Yeah, you don't even think of that. 
no, it, uh, it, it is quite interesting. I'm mean, again, just like thinking about like just the wealth of knowledge that's shared via the internet. It's, it's pretty incredible. Right. You know, uh, it's, it's a very interesting like age we live in, in which it's again it's the information age, right? Uh, and it, it very much is. Dude, um, I, we we got a loaner car, um, because my mom's car. We got a loaner car from the dealership. My mom's car has a bunch of issues with it, so we took it in today. And the the loaner they gave us is literally a twenty twenty one model. That shit has more bells and whistles on it, right? Than most things, like like. The, it, it has a touch screen display there's there's not even a um an actual gear shift it's a fucking dial you switch yeah uh oh, when you come to a stop like not put that. it in park just have the brakes fully on so the car is not moving the engine goes silent yeah completely because it goes into like electric mode to save gas mm-hmm. and it's got like you can hook up your phone to it and all those things and then it has a blu-ray disc player that you can insert and screens on the back with games and shit included on it and hdmi plugs to plug in and okay, a vacuum wow. inside of it. Oh my god! There is okay. a vacuum built into the car. <laughs> I've heard of like what most of those things, but the vacuum and the Blu-ray player really. Th- I've never heard of that before. It's, and it's an eight-seater too. Jeez. It's fucking. The, Are you driving wild time. Are you driving the magic school bus? Like what is this? The worst part is like I'm driving this and I'm like, kind of nice. So what am I getting this? It's like I could. I literally, if I spent the rest of my life savings, I could put a down payment on it, and then it's only three fifty a month after that for the next. But can, what about the limo? Can we go back to the limo idea? Uh, I think the limo got sold. <sighs> See, so Astro basically Swagger came to us one th- one night in our our group DM, and he was just like, he was like, "Boys, check this out!" And he sent a Craigslist ad for a it limo. Wasn't a Craigslist? It was like on like Harvest oh. <clears throat> Okay, so it was certified. But uh, basically, he was like, boys. It was from a dealership. I could buy a limo. And we're like, Swagger, how much sense does that make? And he's like, it'd be great, man. How cool would that be? And I'm like, Swagger, <laughs> the fuel, the parking. And he's like, no, no, no. You're looking at all the negatives. Think of the think of the positives. I'd be driving a limo. I'd be like, yes, Swagger. But most of the hype surrounding a limo is being driven around in it, not driving it. <laughs> and then uh Mish is, with, Mish, you're the one who's like who's like don't you guys just rent a limo to go to the airport yeah i don't drive the limo to the airport i know but you it's just it's funny that you're making fun of him for like wanting the limo no i i'm saying again the whole point of like the excitement of a limo is being in it and being and, like and that's chauffeur. where i come in because not providing yeah. a, a service like people want to be in limos and okay. i could be the one driving the limo but, but then dry, what you're gonna Uber. You're gonna start a business. So, start a so pretty matter. much like a business. You're buying it for yes. business. Yes. No. No. Okay. No. Are you, sense. Starting, are you <laughs> starting like an Uber type brand, but only yeah, only one yeah, and it's limo a limo in the middle of where you live, which is the thing that deterred problem. me. Unsanctioned. The thing that deterred me was the the thought of the the fucking uh, what's it called? The payments. Um, yes. Insurance. No insurance. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought yeah. about insurance costs. I was oh, like, yeah. never mind. Like literally after all this, it's like guys, just believe me. And then like. Literally, like a minute later, I was like, "Never mind." I just thought about the insurance the, cost. I just, I love the idea of Swagger starting up an unsanctioned limousine company. It's just him with a cardboard sign saying, "We'll pick you up and take you wherever you want for X amount of money," and he, he's all scraggly. He's got his little bag of mushrooms, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I'm hire, I'm hiring this guy. <laughs> yeah, we ran out of gas. You all have to get out and help me push. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the fill up before I get yeah, here. yeah, gas ain't gas ain't free, guys. Come on, chip in. <laughs> like he's making the customers pay for the gas. Gas, <laughs> gas, grass or ass. No one rides for free. Yeah. <laughs> it got to the point where like Swagger was like, no, 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 it could be a good idea, and I gave up trying to play Logic Police. I was like, you know what, do it, do it for the as meme. As soon as he was like, go for it, I was like, oh, insurance costs. Like... Yeah. <laughs> The second I get behind it, God damn! No, it, it, we're tagging that onto the list of uh, of vehicles that the SBC has talked about buying, but uh, never actually go through. With it. Like the train, like the train. I actually and, well, came up with a, a name for that. Oh, okay. Just two ideas. It's a uh, red, rednecks choo choo train. Oh, I like it. But it's so, it. so Asher, it's a, it's a food train, not a food truck. So choo choo, yeah. 
That's fucking He's clever. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, uh, man. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I thought about that on my way to work one day. It was like a couple of days ago. I think that's the I think that's the most ridiculous thing. You're on your way to your like your your job and you're just like, you know what's funny? The stuff that guys were saying last <laughs> night, our fake business venture, the two two trade. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on from that. Uh, so Astro, what made you what made you start streaming and then where do you want to like try and take that? Oh man, band. no one could stop me. I do. I. <laughs> God damn. Um, Sorry. I I uh, I started streaming. So I'm a I'm an outgoing person. I love to hang out with my friends outside of. Uh, uh, you never you literally never catch me in in the house. Uh, before the pandemic. Uh, but the beginning of 2020, um, uh, some some medical stuff happened with a family member in in the house to where I had to take care of them, stay home. So literally just go to work. For the whole day and then come straight home and only leave if i need to go grocery shopping um so i had to find a way for me to be able to hang out with my friends um and i love gaming on my free time so i, I hopped in the game and i started learning about twitch and streaming it's like oh my friends could literally hop and talk to me on stream while i just game and they could watch what i'm doing um and that's why i started streaming literally you know, the first couple months I started streaming because of that reason. Um, then, obviously, because they're not into Twitch, it, it kind of just riffled and, and, and kind of fell apart uh, from there. And I, and I stopped streaming around March of 2020, and I didn't pick back up till August. Um, and when I picked, up, picked back up in August, I, I guess it was, a, it, was, it was a single raid that kind of clicked in my head i was like oh this is actually pretty cool that felt awesome and and then i started learning more about affiliate and trying to reach affiliate how to reach it and the struggle of me trying to reach it for months and i was like man if i'm struggling this much to reach affiliate i want to be able to be that that person that a small streamer you know someone who just recently started could kind of reach out to and ask how what's a better way for me to do this or you know which route should i take on, on this these kind of aspect and um so i created my 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 channel more based on that on that you know that kind of perspective and goal wise to where um i, I want to be able to help out small streamers so i i avoided to raid you know um a higher streamer um or like someone around my level and i i, I, I tend to raid new streamers who's trying to reach affiliate who's at below 50 followers or trying to average three viewers um and and i kind of want to stay there for now uh I'm nothing nothing too crazy yet <laughs> no i think it's good and it, it tends to be uh, a pretty reoccurring theme uh with a lot of the guests of the podcast again anybody who, uh, who's listening or watching right now who's seen uh, most of the episodes that we've had um with other streamers is that again they tend to follow a lot of the same uh like mentalities as we do and that like again streaming isn't like we're not all we're not in for the money we're in it for more of the community and just like helping as many right. people as we can and I, again like that speaks to who we bring onto the show because we like to be able to like prop up that sort of uh mentality on twitch so like again like that's why like like no brainer like when we invite people on we try and surround ourselves and bring those kind of people on the podcast because again, we want to prop up the the more positive aspects of Twitch and highlight people like yourself who are right. again not in it for themselves. You know, they're they're doing it to to entertain other people, and you know what I mean. So and and for and how right. to have a good time, right? Like, right. So I think that's again very. Uh, it's a like it's a very interesting origin story because it's it's very similar to a lot of ours and uh again it speaks to the volumes just like why for example you and me like connect so well and like overlap quite a bit and like hanging out and doing stuff astro what is it like living in on uh, alaska oh shoot <laughs> <laughs> Where um, to begin? <laughs> man i think it's all the uh the the nature the outdoors wise is cool um, if you're if you're an outdoor person, Alaska is definitely a place for you. If you're not, and you're more of like a nightlife, you know, city high skyline type of person, Alaska is definitely not a place. <laughs> um, it's more nature. Like now, summertime, to where I, you know, I rearrange my schedule for me to be able to go out in the weekends and kind of go camping and go out to the wilderness and enjoy the nature of Alaska, what it was, you know, what it's meant for. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think that's that's what I like about it. Uh, now winter rice, I, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> not fond of that, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't like shoveling driveway. <laughs> Eight months of the year. <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty much, man. So, um, and then you, you get you get paid as a resident in Alaska. That so that's a fun fact there. Yeah. Uh, that some people think it's a lie. <laughs> no, it's true. Like some parts in Canada is like it that is. too. Like uh, none of it, and I believe some parts of the Northwest Territories. They pay you to live up there because it's so sparsely populated because everyone's like, it's, yeah. it's fucking cold. And the government's yeah. like, it's cold, <laughs> but you know what keeps you warm in the winter? Uh, Stimmy. Exactly, <laughs> pretty much. We talked about what made you start streaming, what made you get into it. Uh, now that you've been doing it a while, you've probably had some frizzy. Frizzy? Frizzy, yes. Words are fun. <laughs> uh, I love frizzies. What a presentation no. tool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. Cut, 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 <laughs> cut, cut. Next, yeah, next, yeah, next scene. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See, we this talk is what, about you sorry, starting. You suck. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say this, Stop. this is why we don't do the people are like, why don't we do the podcast live? This. <laughs> All of this. All right. We've talked about what made you start streaming, how you got into it. Um been doing it for a while now. What is the uh what would be your considered your favorite moment that you've had on Twitch? We were doing that oh. damn question for a long while. <laughs> wow. Shut up. Man. Favorite moment on Twitch. Um, I think the the community that that I was able to build that they they were they were so on board with the the goal that I had with the, with the channel, um, and the fact that they they tend to expand and share that with others. Um, we I, and I think that's that that's the one of the best moments. Um, that I could catch on on either my channel or if I hop in like Moose's channel and I, I see some people from you know from my channel to there. Um, being able to to see others who supports me, other uh, supports other people that I support as well, and uh, um, the spread of love is is just imaginable to see, and uh, that that has to be the best moments for me every time. Yeah, um, just to see that out there. Oh yeah, um, having a real good following community one that can expand not only you know can spend with you but even like reach out like check other people out and be like hey you know moment. hold up am i sorry i have a little battery warning <laughs> 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 but they can uh expand with you like go and you know follow you to um into someone else's community like probably your community did with moose you probably hooked up with moose and then your communities found him and followed him no i think uh, i think again redneck and nasher like put it pretty well like i like just like the just the term community is just so all-encompassing and again i think i agree with i definitely agree with you and that like that's like probably the most significant thing we say a lot uh community like everything that we do right. is for the community by the community right and uh just being able to like have that community and knowing that you're gonna be able to either like not use them but like kind of they're like a tool to spread happiness to other people's channels and stuff right? right and like again the integration like um like obviously i know that like uh corrupt and auto phoenix have come into your stream from mine and then they, they came from bearded's into mine into yours right. and like obviously again they're they're there like almost every night like hyping it up you know like be, being the absolute mad lads that they are um and it's just awesome to see that kind of stuff you know what i mean like to see people come in and just like really fully integrate within another community and build those connections right. and again just continue to spread that love across like and we see it in our community as well just like seeing like people spread love and just be awesome across like several communities it's just it's so like heartwarming and rewarding as a creator to be able to have those people in your life you did just hit a thousand followers and i think that <laughs> we should uh, we should definitely talk about that so congratulations for that you thank hit it you, on uh, what was it uh, Tuesday or Monday? Uh, oh, yeah, so I think, give, I think it was hand. Monday. I believe, yeah. Let's give the boy a hand. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate, it, appreciate. It. But uh, but yeah, what's that? <laughs> yes, go off, Red Eye. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the epic raid raid moves we're gonna see. <laughs> Um, but so yeah, what's that, uh, what's that journey been like? And, uh, obviously again, you know, I know you're doing something big on, uh, on Saturday, uh, for that. Uh, right. 
But uh, um, who man? Uh, the road to one k was uh, it, it it was definitely a grind. It was hard, you know. Um, I mean, you would know as well. Um, it's the 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 late nights of streaming and editing clips uh, obviously expanding on other platforms social media platforms as well it's uh it, it, it's an overwhelming sometimes and then mentality is a big part of that as well which i think um, i've said in the past on my streams to where you know not many streamers uh talk about it or feel comfortable talking about it you know um the mental of of once we go offline of you know what you think about your stream or what happened mm -hmm. was it good or not how come no one's watching and you know obviously as a streamer there's ups and downs of streams and uh i think that was the the learning curve of trust trusting the process and loving the process to 1k mm -hmm. was um has taught me a lot and uh it's been it's been fun i can't complain yeah so no i definitely agree with you again <laughs> i think like uh a lot of people i'm like it, like tips for like all you like new creators out there who want to try and reach the 1000 club um again streaming isn't a nine to five you know what i mean it doesn't it doesn't stop when the camera turns off like asher was saying you know like um what you do on stream is one thing but i mean like you know you, there's so many other things that you need to you need to do when you're not streaming if you want to get to that level and again like asher was saying like just like again because i've been in this boat where it's like I go to bed after streaming after doing like four or five other things and like I can't sleep because I'm like trying to think of what to do next. What can I do? What can I do better? Writing down ideas for like podcast episodes, video ideas, right? It's uh, it's it's a difficult thing because again, it's not like with a job or with anything else where you can you can shut it off because you have set hours and you're, you're doing this thing. Uh, it's It's almost like a full time 24 hours on the clock where you have to be constantly thinking uh and and trying to innovate right um so i think that's uh often underrated and as it's like again i know that everyone here as fellow creators can can understand the grind and just like 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 we know what you've done to get to that point so it's like you know like we recognize kind of like the amount of work that you put in uh for your streams do you have any um tips or any insight on, i'm about to go silent here for a second uh, uh um uh, audio wise like to help people with audio since you know you dj so you know a lot there and um do you do you have any tips or any something that you've learned that you wouldn't expect to have learned over the years from from streaming and djing audio um depending on what aspect we're looking at if we're talking about streaming wise with audio uh test everything prior to streaming uh beforehand instead of doing it on stream um obviously you know technical difficulties happen during stream that happens uh, but use the, the record button on, on OBS or Streamlabs, whatever platform you're using. It's such a, a big tool that I use. Um, I tend to record for 30 minutes and just kind of test all my audios out, go back, listen to it, and make sure everything's kind of leveled out correctly. If I'm playing music, you know, throughout my stream, I want to make sure it's not overpowering my voice or the game or anyone in, in Discord with me. Um, and, and, uh, Making sure, kind of like, I, I like to spread apart all of my audios individually. So I use voice meter specifically for mm -hmm. streaming on my PC to separate all the, the audios instead of I could only, you know, control one audio or one, one level and um, that one level will control music, Discord, and, and the game. Yeah. And, and then you have your mic, you know. Um, I tend to like to break it down. Um, but obviously some people, it might be a lot of work, uh, early as a, as an early, you know, the first stage of streaming, I totally understandable. That's might be overwhelming. Uh, just understand the basic first before expanding to anything more complex is my, my advice. Yeah. Just stick with the basic first and then expand later on as you build, um, the platform. Yeah. I, de I definitely think that like a lot of newer streamers, I think where they, kind of fall short it's again the audio quality right it's something that again right. seems, seems so simple uh because you just need to like you just need to like you said take the time and just look at it um because like almost always uh when i run into a newer streamer my the first thing that i i say and i don't like not the first thing i say but like as a point of like constructive criticism 
is like, hey, you know, like the game's a little overpowering, like I can't hear you, or like, you know, your music's a little too loud. Um, and I often find that like, again, a lot of streamers are like, oh my God, thank you. Uh, you know, like no one told me because I think a lot of like casual viewers don't want to say anything. Um, so like, you know, you might accidentally be turning away viewers um, because your audio levels are kind of wonky. Uh, and no one really yeah. wants to say anything, right? So I, I I totally agree with you in that, like, just taking a few minutes and checking that out. Right. And then, uh, I mean, you also, you have, um, like, two or three practice uh, stream channels as well, right? Where you like to check alerts and stuff. I remember you telling me about that. I do, yeah. So I, I have a specific Twitch channel account that I actually go live and test stuff out. Um, it, especially with, you know, frame uh, frame skipping and all that stuff all that jazz um i definitely want to check those out with different different games running different you know um pulling different kind of specs on your on your pcs um a different percentage uh so that's why i want to test those out instead of just recording um i want to run them through twitch and um be able to to see where where i'm standing before going live and having my stream crash even though it crash multiple times and it forever will be <laughs> no but that's like such a smart oh, play though. You there. <laughs> it's such a smart play though because i mean like i mean we've all been there we're like we're trying a new game on your stream and it just like doesn't work I mean, that happened to swagger today right where did your love for space come from because obviously again like it's very like highly influenced on your channel um and obviously again it's, it's integrated a lot into your, your branding and stuff yeah uh oh shoot um why did i why i knew this question was gonna come up sometimes <laughs> today i just i just never thought of the answer to that um i've <laughs> i'm a huge um I, i'm 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 into like like mystery mis mystery stuff i obviously i'm i'm now you know employee from for nas nasa or stuff like that to where you know or a scientist where I sit down and learn about outer space. They know more about that kind of stuff versus what I would know. I just know whatever's on TV or whatever <laughs> I could search up on, on yeah. Google. Um, so for me, the, the knowing that there's so much stuff out there, I mean, I guess same thing with, with our ocean as well, but just the outer space aspect of it and knowing that there's a, a possibility that something could be out there, uh, that just fascinated me a lot. And I was like, I think, I think being an astronaut will be cool. Um, it is, it's not like something that I would probably take on just because that will be a little too crazy on my end. <laughs> but um, I like space, just not that. Not enough to go in it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So, and and the idea of, of how it looks out there is just... It's just so wonderful, man. What was the catalyst behind the uh, the the space helmet? Because I've seen you wear it at the DJ thing. So what was the? I have. The, oh man. What, what was the catalyst behind um, that one? The space helmet was. It actually it, it, it that ha that falls under the DJing aspect of it of you know my life, uh, where when I started getting into DJ, I found that. The, the type of music that Marshmallow, uh, the DJ Marshmallow produces. Uh, I tend to like his type of music, the, the, the music that he produced. So I watch a lot of his videos and his idea of having the mask, same thing with like Dead Mouse or Daft Punk of they're there for the music and not for the person. Mm -hmm. So they hide their identity by using these masks. That idea was pretty cool. It, it was, it's about the music, on on these live events and not not the person behind the booth um and and them hiding their face with these helmet i thought it was cool and when i started streaming and i started taking it seriously i was like i gotta find a way to just hide my face that was the first thing i was like let's just have a like let's make it a different stream to where someone's gonna hop into twitch and they just see some dude in the helmet <laughs> and we're like cool we, we came up with the name astro and was like let's just get an astronaut helmet and so we started searching up astronaut helmet we were trying to get a custom one made and the closest thing we could get was from just a halloween store and so really that's how i ended up getting an astronaut helmet i would have never guessed i i thought it would have been custom because it looks like super high quality 
<laughs> yeah, no, it's just from a Halloween store in, locally in town. Damn. Okay. Go off. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the Halloween store. Yeah, pretty much. What has been the weirdest moment you've ever experienced as a content creator? The weirdest moment? Other than this. <laughs> this is not weird. <laughs> Give it to uh, um, give, yeah, 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 give it a moment. Oh, shit. <laughs> don't make it a challenge, please. Please. Be an awkward, awkward recording time. <laughs> yeah. The weirdest thing, I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to say this in a bad way, I guess. Uh, I think the weirdest thing for me is um, I've gotten, obviously, you know, the, the age range on, on as a content creator and having your, the community that you're building or the viewers that you have, the, the, the age range um, is a big factor, and there's specific age um, to where it's the communication is a lot different than <laughs> me growing up yeah. and learning all these the, this lingo that they know. Oh, yeah. um, that's that's weird for me learning that, um, and also on top of that. People, people tend to go on on Twitch and watch streamers, and uh, for for some people, it's cool for them to to hop into a game with this, with someone that's streaming. Um, so I've I've definitely gotten some 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 you know some some gameplays where uh, some viewers will, would freak out that they're gaming with with someone who streams. Um, I think that's weird. Uh, I've never been put in that position. Um, and you've seen it moves to where everyone wants to go and meet you. You know what I mean? In person. And and that's really weird. So it's not like in a bad way. You're just not used to it. Yeah, it's like it's almost <laughs> surreal because like you've never been put in a situation like that before. And right. now you suddenly are. And again, yeah, it's so it's almost hard to come to grips with. Like uh, Like you said, just like the way that people think about you changes a lot uh and it's almost again just very different from any other experience you've had in life because again most of the time that you people if people know you in in life it tends to be because they know you or personally like they grew up with you or what have you um or like a shared interest whereas this is literally just like uh anyone can come off the streets and know me in like a day right and just kind of communicate right. with it, which is just very unique and again i think it's uh like you said just very very like difficult to get used to and yeah. uh I, I think it's funny that you mentioned the uh, again like the lingo and stuff. Yeah, like it, it definitely is hard. Again, like I I think I told the story yesterday on the podcast, but yeah, no cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bearded. <laughs> I was talking to bearded one time, and he's like, "Moose, honestly, you're such a homie. Like you're you're a brother, man. Full cap." And I was like, "Uh, all right, dude. Like fuck you then." <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he thought that full cap meant like like caps lock, as in like I mean this. As opposed no. to like, I'm, I'm, you know, yeah. Psych. yeah, I'm lying. yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're a host. I, I, st I still don't understand that. Yeah. I don't understand that. <laughs> As our resident really boomer, uh, boomer resident neck here. Boomer. Yeah. I think it's funny because you, you title a lot of your streams as like Boomer Plays Fork Knife. And I'm just like, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, um, and that, that goes out to, you know, my buddy Hizzle who, who started joking about how, um, I'm a year older than my group of friends in real life here with them. And so just because I was a year older and I'm, I'm the oldest in the group, they started calling me Boomer to where it expanded to people that watch me. And it just became a, a brand in, in, in the stream. So, I mean, the emote Boomer is yeah. apparently a big thing in there. So Well, you even uh, have like Nightbox hey. commands too like that. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> so I just go with it. <laughs> That's honestly like the best thing is just like rolling with uh with the kind of memes and stuff because if you try and uh if you try and go the other direction, that's when it gets r ran with even more, because like people like to kind of be that like, he 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 like you know again like the very much like the, the lulls yeah. right. Um, speaking of weird stuff, I got a message today. And it was um. It was a uh, a request for a sponsorship from Smooth My Balls on Instagram. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, really dude. So, That's when you know you made it, man. Apparently, <laughs> what? It's not Manscaped, but it's the second <laughs> best thing, right? 
So smooth. You gotta start smooth. somewhere. <laughs> right. my balls. Yeah, smooth my balls has has reached out to me, uh, and I I don't know what to say. I I really don't. Uh, it. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know whether to trust it because it's like I like the first thing I did was like. <laughs> Wait, 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 Oh this my god. Like... For the audio Moose, listeners. The, the greatest part was Moose's realization yeah, just... of what was on the screen. <laughs> for the audio listeners, for whatever reason, Swagger's entire webcam just got replaced with. Oh, he's 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 trying to fix it now. What? <sighs> <laughs> 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 woof woof he says <laughs> woof woof I have too much stuff installed and you need to make some space to it's talking to... <laughs> yeah. yeah it's using my face no 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 it's not talking swagger is talking <laughs> right. this is swagger now <laughs> why does this puppy sound like swagger <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe this will be more socially acceptable <laughs> oh my god <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get some more clicks on the video. <laughs> Hell yeah! Swagger is little anime girl. The boobs jiggle. No, God. Yeah, I got a full screen. <laughs> Hang on, uh, for science purposes. Uh, yeah. Go around, Swagger. <laughs> God damn it! No, no, cat. It's just that easy. What has happened? Now he's a cat. What has happened? <laughs> like a blinking guy. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, all right, hey, Redneck. Hey, I'm so happy. <laughs> Astra's like, I'd like to change my answer from before of the weirdest moment to, to, cur to currently. I, to I told you it would happen. I told you. We, we, literally, we literally said, give, give it a few minutes. Redneck, do you want to do your magic trick now? All right, you know what? I'm all right, out. here, co here comes. Oh no. Oh, uh, yep, he's puffing out. <laughs> just at the end, he's like. Oh god. Whoa. Oh. Wait, whoa, where'd you come that from? Didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> it, it was like smoke dissipated. Round applause, round applause. <laughs> the smoke completely dissipated, and you were like. <laughs> like a yeah, full like second went... when i started looking through your stuff when I, when we first met obviously um you know we went through i went through your instagram and started taking a look and then obviously again actually you know we connection time the first time that i rated you you were actually wearing uh an army shirt and i remember Kadri, I was, yeah. yeah and i remember Kadri was just like well, well he was super drunk because this is when he had woken up and he was just like i wonder if this guy's actually army i'm gonna ask him uh and then he did and then, uh, do you maybe want to expand on that a bit? I did, yeah. I remember, uh, yeah, I remember you guys asking me, and uh, I did said, uh, yes, I was uh, prior service for six years in the U.S. Army. Um, did multiple different jobs with them. Um, don't regret any of it. Um, but it's definitely an experience, man. Definitely an experience. So uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to. Uh, elaborate and expand to that that question <laughs> yeah i like uh, so the follow-up one was like what do you think was the most rewarding part uh about being in the in the military um definitely my last job that i did there my last job the last three years of that six full terms that i did was the funeral honor guard that i did so uh here in alaska uh pretty much the last three years i was with the honor guard to wear any kind of you know funeral for a fam uh, for a military or service member um either from combat or just you know with age or illness um and the family had requested for a military funeral we would go out and do the full military you know 21 gun salute the folding of the flag handing the flag over to a family member letting them know that you know we, we thank them for their service and all that stuff uh i think that was the the, the 
all around kind of sums up everything of, of what why I signed up and and I think that kind of you know obviously there's ups and downs for every job and I think that just sums up the whole six years of it was worth doing mm-hmm. um, just because it, it was such an honor doing that for a family member um, just at least the last time we could show respect to them as well because yeah. they sacrificed the same the same stuff so yeah. No, so the the reason I, uh, that that I wanted Redneck to ask that one because obviously Redneck served as well, um, so I thought that would be an interesting connection there, um, because again, like obviously you guys kind of like, were in the the same sort of branch, um, so I was curious to see like again what the the, the correspondence and what the you know like what, what your guys' opinions would be on that. So Astro, uh, when can we expect uh, Buzz Lightyear to make a reappearance again on your channel? Oh my <laughs> gosh, man! Ah. So for for those of you who don't know, uh, Astro dressed up as Buzz Lightyear uh, with his buddy while they were streaming, and his buddy dressed up as Woody, uh, yeah. when they did a Fortnite stream. And again, I saw that TikTok the other day of like you got that was just <laughs> that was the funniest thing. We're uh we're 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 actually trying to plan one again, but with a third person. We we're just trying to think of who the third character will be from the show, uh, from the movie. So. But well, you've we're, already we're got a dog. It. You've got a dog here. You could use Moose. And, you could use Moose. He could be a little Bo Peep. Damn it! I was gonna say Perfect, Swagger. Perfect, dude. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, send you the costume. There, man. Yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll send you my yeah, shipping man. address. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, it will happen again, and uh, I've, I've, the community wants to make it child points claim. That's uh, all. That's, that's, that's commitment. So. So we we <laughs> might we might have to do that. Uh, obviously, it might be a, a little uh, a little higher up there on yeah, how many channels. It's like a twenty twenty thousand. <laughs> uh, so again, Astro, obviously, you see here that uh, we 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 barely we barely we very rare <clears throat> we we very ra- <laughs> we very rarely stay on track here. Uh, we are very much the run away ch- the run away choo choo train that uh that we've we've seemed to have bought <laughs> that seemed to have hit every branch on the way down do you actually cross the border for a and w onion rings oh i do i used to <laughs> yeah dude i would drive eight hours for that it's an eight well it's not, actually it's a little more than eight hours probably like 12 hour drive i think so oh, so yikes. what would you do um, would you just be like a and w today or is like a planned thing, like you plan like it's weeks a plan and a thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a plan thing. It's not like a, spur of the moment. Like you're like, I've got twelve <laughs> hours to spare today. I could go for some onion rings. Uh, but now they're more. They're a lot more strict. So fortunately, <laughs> crossing the border is now. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, there's too much paperwork. So I'm like, nah, it's not even worth it anymore. <laughs> twelve hours plus paperwork. Nah, that ain't it, chief. Nah. <laughs> I love that. What a vibe. <laughs> Well, yeah, the twelve-hour drive for some onion rings is totally a cool. Be good in some paperwork. Hell no. <laughs> yeah. that's where Fuck we draw man. the line. Another thirty minutes of paperwork. Oh, no, no. Especially it's Canadian paperwork. So yes, it's, it's, kind of it's ready it, ready it, no, no, oh, it's it, it's in English yeah, and it's French. Sticky. It takes yeah. an extra hour. Yeah. Put it on a maple page. leaf. Yeah, yeah. Right. like so. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to figure out what was what was up with that because I remember that was like one of the first things yeah. we talked about was like, hey, yeah. Canada, you got good onion drinks, and I was like. <laughs> no, not hey, wrong. you know what Canada has? <laughs> Good ass onion. <laughs> yeah. Something no, we're yeah, not at all known for. No. <laughs> our A and W just our A and W here just wasn't good. I I, I don't like even it. think it's even open anymore. There's I, an A and W like down the street from him. He's uh, like, nah. Nah, it's gonna be Canadian. Nah. It's gonna be the Canadian yeah. one. Otherwise, it's not it the has same. to be. <laughs> That's so like. I love that because, like, in my opinion, I love AW onion rings. I think that the, I, I haven't had onion rings better at any other place than AW, even though it's like a fast food place, you know? I like how you're like, I don't know if they have those in the States. Their, their literal slogan is all American say, food. Yeah, it's American <laughs> made. <laughs> uh, so then, um, I guess then the, the last question that we have. Um, so for the SBC TwitchCon party, which we all know is going to be an absolute banger. Uh, we're 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 mad hype. We're vibing. We're ready for to have you out there. Uh, obviously, we've banned you from the beer pong tent. It's like when it's like when like a guy goes <laughs> to like an amateur casino night and like you know you you've won all of Vegas and you're just banned from cleaning everyone out. It's gonna be that. Um, but do you have any interest in DJing the event? And if so, what does DJ RC have in store for the vibes there? 
Um, I'll be more than happy, BJ, for it. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll be more than happy to uh, put some time in there for you guys. There we go. We found a way um, to get them off the tables and onto a different kind of table. Perfect. Yeah, pretty much, man. <laughs> It's it's very rare for uh, you know to to combine them together with DMCA and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, I would love to, man. Sounds, like, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a vibe. All right, so uh, so uh, what would you be like? What what would be the you know the I don't like I don't know which what, like how to DJ. Like, do you like follow a theme or? Um. So it's pretty much reading the crowd. So mm. majority of the time, um, how I how I like to do it usually is. Um, I'm not a club DJ. Um, I, I I tend to do private events and stuff. And the more I like to, the more stuff I'm into is having a set. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I usually would would rather have like an hour or two hour set, an hour and a half between there, um, to kind of just like live up an expectation of 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 that EDM type of festival. Have everybody kind of, you know together dancing and having a good time the experience and then just yeah. right right and then just expand to just regular music throughout the night um and everyone's having a you know a good time playing beer pong having some drinks playing card games and stuff like that um that's how i usually would do it if i ever you know dj for like my friend's party and stuff like that like a house party so we just do like an hour set and we kind of just like enjoy have a lightings and all that stuff um, but not throughout the night. We usually just have like a vibing music or yeah. upbeat music dancing in the background throughout the night. No, I think um, that we'll have an hour. I think that's better, Greg, right? because like again, like you said, like you you kind of create that experience. Plus, it also it would be a bum if it's like, hey, Astrid, you're like I'm busy, and like the whole night you're just like you know like you're mixing it up. Right. Like, obviously, you want to get it on it too, right? So. Right. Right. Exactly. I'm excited. Are you gonna wear the helmet? I can. Ooh, there we I go. Can. There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> this uh, the TwitchCon party right, keeps getting more and more exciting. Requirement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it gets more and more exciting as as the time goes on. Ooh. It's gonna be uh, we can mix fish bowls in your helmet, dude. Afterwards, there you go. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, dude. This party is gonna be off the hooks, man. <laughs> yeah. Just happy as a clam, just this massive ass fishbowl, <laughs> <laughs> like full head size. Just well, put, put some jungle juice on that, on that helmet yeah. too. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like the doctor said, I can only have one drink a day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a little, like a little twisty straw. <laughs> like, oh no, you've got to connect it to get to glasses. <laughs> like he just like strap it to your head and then put two straws in. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. He he puts the helmet on it with all of it in it, and the two straws are just to breathe in between drinking. <laughs> 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 Got like a big rubber like a snorkel. Yeah, snorkel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just feeding stuff into your snorkel. It's it's like in the cartoons where like like Scooby Doo or whatever they'd like go underwater with like the like the scuba mask and it would like fill up with water and they would like drink it to like you know empty it. It would be like that. <laughs> I I don't think I've ever seen them drink the water to empty it well then you're gonna see a magical thing happen on uh the twitch con event because it's gonna be yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna be breaking a lot of barriers that day <laughs> <laughs> so the more the, after this podcast again the more and more i think about it the more that i want to do something similar to what you do with the beer pong in that like we need some sort of like trophy or championship belt to like have the winning team the like golden mug oh maybe because like, like, again like We'd love to be able to like do this a lot and like uh like engrave someone's name or something to a belt or like just like again like the whole point of the TwitchCon party is to like be a huge massive experience that like no one forgets, right? And like so we'll have, maybe maybe we'll think about something like that like some sort of trophy or something. Uh, for so the, when for we're talking about this this beer pong competition or beer pong tournament that you're you're, you're trying to do here, is this like solo or like? We're, I, th- I think a duo. I think duos. duos. Yeah. Yeah, duos. the way we've been hyping it, we're doing duos. Which, I mean, we asked this question to Sean, and I think we could ask it to to Asher. What do you guys think? Why does this sound? Why does this question sound scary? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. right. Basically, again, beer pong tournament. Obviously, you know, you're you're banned from participating. But if you okay, let's say that the rules are the rules are lifted. All right, we 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 bring in another ringer. Uh, who in this call, uh, would you want to have as your partner? Who do you think is an underdog, and who do you think's not even in this league, like not even playing the same sport, basically? 
Uh, and I guess a fourth undetermined position that we have yet to think of for whatever reason. I have to go with another veteran, man. Like, oh. the veterans just have to team up together, bro. There you go. <laughs> Got the experience. Redek does practice on weekends. <clears throat> there so. you go. Oh, we play. Yeah, we actually played last weekend. Yeah. You don't know what happens behind those barracks, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I was like calling outside the barracks, Sorry. man. That shit was awful. In the middle of a dust storm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Garrett. <laughs> uh, it's not that hard. I mean, you're not using, you know, ping pong ball. You're just using rocks over the there. <laughs> play the wind. Go yeah, play. you got to lean into the wind. <laughs> yeah. So you pick Renek as your partner. So then who do you think yeah. is like a, who do you think is an underdog? Man, I did, I did so many definition of an underdog, dude. None of us are nationally ranked, if that helps you make your decision. <laughs> I have no clue, bro. <laughs> I have no clue. That's tough, man. So then I guess, do you have uh, one for who do you think is not even in the same league? I didn't even think most you, I didn't even think you would drink nor play those type of games, oh, bro. Wow. You brought it up one okay, time, dude. Okay, okay. So... Yeah, definitely got to so lose on that one. <laughs> oh my god, wow. I'm embarrassed. Okay, well, Swagger, you and I are forming the loser team, apparently. <laughs> because Sean picked Swagger as, like, not even playing the same sport. I just yeah. imagine he would get super distracted. Like, again, if Astro's, like, playing, like, flashy lights or whatever while we're playing, like, my teammate's gone. Like, yeah, Swagger's across the room. <laughs> <laughs> what does this button do? That's a neat little button. <laughs> hey, Astro, do you remember when I was a dog? Hey, Astro. <laughs> I think we're at a perfect time to, to wrap it up. Uh, Astro, it was an absolute pleasure to have you on with us, man. I, I, I assume you don't have anything to, to left to add in regards to any of the crazy crap we've been saying. Nah, nothing crazy, man, but it was an honor being here, dude. I yeah, it appreciate was, it. It Thank was you. good, man. Now, we're, we're always so happy to see that like people are actually like really... Uh, like enthused to be on like i i just assume a lot of people are like oh, okay like whatever like, here's my community service no, officer man. so it's uh it's, it's great to see <laughs> that people like really enjoy it and have a lot of fun because we have a lot of fun doing it again it's it's really great to bring out uh, other like-minded creators uh who are just a vibe to talk to and have fun with um and just again just like it's basically just like the sbc getting into the shenanigans um you know, with another person uh, and, and kind of exposing audience, yeah, and like <laughs> exposing them to our madness and people get to see kind of like live reactions to that as well, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a vibe, man. It's definitely a vibe. Keep it up. I like it. Uh, actually, though, new merch for Astro coming out on Saturday. Hey, yeah, on, on the 15th. <laughs> so the celebration is going to be on the 15th. So there you go. There you go, guys. <laughs> link in the description anyway Asher, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on my friend again just uh, an absolute pleasure for all of us uh really fun to get to know you a little bit better and uh to share a few laughs obviously and uh it was a great time my friend yeah definitely man thanks again appreciate it awesome man anyway uh so guys this is going to be the end of today's episode we hope you enjoyed this episode of the shadow Brewcast. uh for the sbc i'm your co-host canadian moose naval redneck flagger i'm personal <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we hope you enjoyed this episode and astro once again thank you so much for coming on and uh we will see you all in the next episode peace Bye. see you guys later everyone <laughs>